When you work in a CAD, computer AD design, it is quite common that, for example, you design something technical, for example, a, a little plate like this where four screws can go in to, to attach something. And uh, there is a, a lot of intelligence into such a model. And I would like to show you how you can handle with all these uh, intelligence in the two-dimensional sketch because uh, how we have it now is that we have a block and we want to have the holes in the in the in the center in all directions and we want also that they have the same distance to the side so it uh, is kind of a logical shape and I want to do this by using as little as possible uh, dimension constraints uh, because that is what you as a human uh, have to put in and I want to uh, keep that out as much as possible so the free cat can do the work uh, for you. So it's a logical model. So let's start from scratch again. Uh, by the way, at the bottom you can see all the projects that you are working on. Uh, also in the project uh, sidebar, for example here, you have... Uh, this uh, older tutorial, that's the one I prepared. And now we are going to start a new sketch. New sketch on the XY plane. Good. Um, we draw a square, which is going to be the outside of the plate. We draw another square, which is going to be the position for the holes. And we draw four... Uh, four circles and we uh, move hover over this point until we see a little dot uh, next to the circle so it means that there is already a constraint being made so that these points belong together just don't care about the dimensions now we do that later so again i look that there is a little dot uh, next to the red circle symbol, so I know that uh, it is on the right point. Good. First thing I want to do is that all circles have the same size. And of course I can say here a dimension of, let's say, 10. I make here a dimension 10, I make here a dimension 10, and I make here a dimension 10. But you never know that uh, for some reason I want to have a 12 later on in the process, so I just want to have them all the same size. To do that is first select them all and then you have here this equal symbol, which means that they have all the same size. If I drag it, then they become smaller and bigger um, the way uh, you change it. What I then want to do is that this, uh, this circle should have the same distance to the, to the x-axis as this circle. I do that by selecting the center of this circle and then this circle. And then I select the x-axis. And if I now use this constraint, a sy symmetry, sy symmetrical constraint, then they can only move exactly the same distance from the x-axis. The same thing I do with the y-axis, so that the holes are always uh, in the center, uh, from, oh well, the equally from the center, like this. Uh, what I I also want that for uh, the outside. So again, I pick these two points, and then this axis, and then symmetrical, and then this point, and then this point and then the axis symmetrical so also this is changing exactly the same what I now want to do is uh, that this distance is the same as this distance there are several ways to do it but a nice way that I like is to just draw an extra line from this point to this point and this should now be a text, good. And this angle should then be, I'm sorry, I was moving it. This angle should then be 45 degrees. Here we have a fixed angle of a line. So here we have 
45 degrees and you might remember from math uh, that then this the distance is the same as this distance so as I change it now the holes always have the same amount of uh, flash so to say to the side so this is uh, how we set up uh, a sketch intelligently because you might have noticed that we actually until now have not put any dimension and we only have four degrees of freedom left which is the size of the hole the distance in this direction the distance in this direction and the amount of material around the holes which is pretty nice because then you only have uh, four things to change uh, in in making your model uh, putting the dimensions is uh, is easy of course uh, so let's make that 80 let's make that um, 40 the amount of material around it just with a horizontal for example so let's make that 10 and then the circle diameter is going to be 5 the radius sorry uh, just as a little note you can also change these uh, dimensions here then you have them all nicely pardon uh, lined up so if you just double click here you can also change the the size of the circle there's only one thing that we have to do now and that is to exclude these lines from the geometry because this square for the circles and this uh, this line of 45 degrees they are only helping lines to get the everything in place and we have to exclude them so we select them and then we have this button which says toggles the current selected lines to or from construction mode if we do that they turn blue so they are not being used by the pet uh, action now the sketch is complete close and if we do now a pad then we have exactly what we want hooray and uh, needless to say you can uh, change all the the dimensions uh, the way you want it uh, which is very useful in technical uh, cat design so good luck